President Joe Biden found himself in the center of the American financial crisis for the first time in his two years in office. The president spoke with local, state, and federal leaders and assessed security at the Bridge of the Americas, the busiest border crossing in El Paso, which is currently the center of the migrant crisis. Republicans criticized him for doing too little, too late, but it just so happens that he's two years and about $20 billion too late. This website is just one of several. Numerous migrants were living in the streets of El Paso, with no end in sight. But President Biden was unaware of this. Rafael has been spending the night in a box to protect him from the below-freezing weather. Longing for what many in the United States take for granted. I would beg President Biden to find a solution to this because what we want is work and he is one of hundreds. Who live indefinitely. My ultimate aim is to obtain a work permit so I can do what I came here to do, which is work hard. Outside. Eating donated food while squeezing onto humanitarian vehicles for warmth and phone charging Father Rafael Garcia takes in. 150 lucky migrants each night at Sacred Heart Catholic Church, many of the others live out here, they've adjusted, and thanks to God. It's not too late to call right now because temperatures haven't dropped below freezing in the recent days, and from what I understand. They won't drop below freezing in the coming few days, so, you know, the climate is cooperating. Even as Biden advocates for comprehensive immigration reform. There is a remedy that the U.S. government has neglected for decades. The president left after getting a first-hand view. At the migrant situation to meet with the prime ministers of Canada and Mexico in Mexico City. He is hoping to make progress on the border problem there that the United States hasn't found in Washington.